Okay, this is Walter, and this is the Candy Coco, the KD-08E, or something like that. It is a strange old car. It's kind of a Chinese knockoff of a smart car. It uh, is electric. They say it's got about a 50-mile range. It is a little tiny thing. It's got four-wheel disc brakes. But uh, we're just going to take a tour. It's not really entertainment. It's just taking a tour of the car, see what we've got. It's... Um, a little beat up, but for $650, it's kind of get, uh, hard to go wrong. The company um, brought these cars to America, I think it was uh, 2008 or 9, and basically uh, through lying, wheeling, and dealing and such, uh, the company stopped uh, making these cars in America, or stopped bringing these cars to America. Large amounts of legal issues, and otherwise, this is the car we're left over with for $650. Uh, take a quick look at the front of it. It's um, nice big headlights. It's got a hood here that stamps off. Now this car is a little beat up, but for $650, it's kind of hard to go wrong, as I said before. It's got brakes right there. That's your master cylinder. It has a area for two more batteries up front. I don't know if it's missing those batteries or if they weren't installed or if it doesn't need them. I know very little about this car. But uh, you can position the headlights so you can uh, adjust those. It's got windshield washer fluid right here. Make sure we're still recording. Yeah, we're still recording. So um, what I do like is these uh, rims. They're kind of neat. And they've got four-wheel disc brakes. And the suspension is not bad. I mean, it bounces a little bit. It's got very, what I would consider to be large spring um, shock absorbers. And down there, you can see the front disc brakes. But uh, that's the empty spot where I think that two other batteries could or should go. And different from the gem car, it has A-arms. So as the wheel rides up and down, the uh, wheel stays vertical, which is kind of neat. And the doors, interesting as well. You can, if you want to, open up this flap here and you basically have a drop-down window. If you put the window back up, you can, you know, close it up, be inside the car, or you can actually take this whole thing off like this, throw it on the ground, and you have what amounts to a fairly slick little convertible. And I believe that this lower panel, which is also um, uh, fabric, can come off. And so all you have is this strip right here so that you can actually see the person's leg while they're driving or riding in the car. So this is apparently where the uh, power connector goes, but with this car, it's been broken out. And I do like the idea that it has four point harnesses and kind of cute racing seats. This particular car, uh, the parking brake's a little iffy. I felt it, and it probably needs adjustment. But uh, there's space for a radio and some other items. But this car has had them removed. This car looks like it's had a tough life. But it's got, you know, turn signal, you know, headlights, a tachometer, a speedometer, and a voltage uh, meter, which appears to be pretty large. There's also an air freshener hanging from the... Uh, mirror which will keep the car nice and fresh so uh in the back let's take a look in the back there's this hatch and that is where they keep the batteries and such so i'll just put the hatch down along with the uh window and take you for a tour on the inside right here there's a knockoff of that yellow charger and i forgot what that yellow charger is but it's a fairly popular charger this one is a knockoff just right there, there it is. So that's the charger, not hooked up to this particular car. And right here, it's got what appears to be a 12 volt Trojan, a 12 uh, T1275. Then it's got these two batteries. One is gray, one is red. And they appear to be fairly large, uh, unknown brand. This is apparently the um, switch module that uh, powers up the entire vehicle. And then it's got a monitor controller from glelec.com great land electric is apparently the controller and that is right there way down here underneath this 
I hope that picture is working out is the motor uh, which is a drive to the rear wheel drive of this vehicle and I'm looking here and there yeah there are the drive shafts to the vehicle to the uh, so it's rear wheel two wheel drive and so that's where the power is fairly large shock absorbers and again the uh, racing harness here this roll cage appears to be a little goofed up I'll probably have that taken off and uh, chromed but once again you open up the door your four-point harness here cool racing seat with a uh, lever so you can slide the uh, slide the chair forward or slide it back and you have your backrest up and down and your seatbelt it's got a horn it does not have an airbag although that uh, dash looks like it's cut out for an airbag and once again the uh, windows can uh, be rolled down or zipped down and closed up so uh, and we're also looking at the four-wheel discs on the back here I'm gonna throw the camera under the car to see if we see anything interesting but it looks like it's got a little transaxle back there So for $650, that's the little car. Probably gonna put up uh, lithium manganese batteries in it. And uh, we'll get an adequate motor to propel it at an incredibly high rate of speed through the intersection. And then have its uh, top speed, hopefully maybe around 50 miles an hour. Don't wanna make it go too fast because, you know, I don't really know for sure how well the suspension works, but uh, that's the front suspension right there windshield wiper and washer fluid so uh, that's the car I'll get some updates going on but uh, this is just for info so you can see what we got for $650